Hello YouTube and welcome back to Maya's Bug. In this episode, we're gonna start jumping into some of the larger systems like uh, installing the radiator into the back of the car. Um, that's gonna be the first thing that we need to do. We have to decide where we're gonna place it and I've kind of been throwing around a lot of ideas. I don't really wanna put it up in front, although that is the cleanest insulation is if you put it up in the front. Um, but you do have to run lines from your engine all the way through your cab uh, up to the front of the vehicle. And then you have uh, to cut some vents into the front of your fiberglass. So I did decide that I'm going to put it into the back of the car somewhere. And um, a lot of guys, they put them, you can put them back here kind of like in a wing configuration. Or you can put it over the top of the engine here and kind of blow your hot air down on top of the engine. Um, a lot of guys, they put it right in the rear window, but it blocks all of your vision that's coming out of your rear window. So after a lot of debate, I did decide to place it near the rear window not in the rear window but on these bars that come down right here and i'm gonna put it basically right across these two bars right there and i'm gonna sneak it down as far as i can and hopefully i can get some amount of vision from oh, my steering wheel is hanging but you can i'll have my rear view mirror right there and hopefully I get some amount of vision through the top here so I'll be able to see him back of me. If I don't, I'll just put it in a rear camera view system or something like that so that way I can see behind me. So with putting the radiator in the back of the car back here, um, you do have to put some airflow in here. And so a lot of guys, they'll run big window scoops here. And actually they look pretty cool. Um, I might make my own or maybe I'll try to pick up a set. But either way, I'm gonna have to have some airflow into the back here, which means I'm no longer gonna have a fully sealed car which is not a problem because what I plan to do is this B pillar is in a great position here to just seal off the entire front of the car. And then the back of the car will be kind of open to the atmosphere. So this will be kind of like our dirty, cold or hot bay. And then up here will be our driver's cell. We will seal up the front end up here and try to keep it warm. Uh, most of the driving is gonna be in the winter time. It's gonna be cold. So maybe I'll try to put some heat in here later on, but for now, I just wanna try to enclose this front end and kind of keep the dust and dirt and heat inside. And then this back end here will be free to flow as needed. So with that being said, I will have my intercooler back here somewhere since I do have my intake here. Um, so I'll mount it in there somewhere, but uh, for now, I just want to focus on getting my radiator into position and then I'll deal with some of the space constraints. So that is the plan and I've already picked up one of these. This is a aluminum radiator. Um, I picked it up on Amazon. It is a champion radiator. It's for a Jeep Cherokee. This radiator is 35 inches wide and it's 11 and a half inches tall. Um, so it's going to fit really nicely in that area. So I'll put some cardboard over the top of these fins here and try to protect them and keep them from denting up because we are going to have to be lifting this thing in and out of the car. My plan with mounting it is I'm going to run a bar across the inside the vehicle, but across through this section here. And then I'll have tabs running up to pick up these two studs. And on those studs, I'm going to run these rubber isolators. And these rubber isolators will help with a lot of the vibration in the car. Um, it will keep that vibration out of my radiator and help reduce like stress cracks and things like that. Um, also, this radiator is going to be going through a lot of thermal cycles. It's going to get cold and it's going to get hot and it's going to get cold and it's going to get hot. So this thing being made out of aluminum, it is going to expand and contract quite a bit. So we want to have some amount of soft mounting. So that will be the lower mounts. I'm going to use those. And on the top side, I plan on using just some trick tabs with some quarter inch screws. And those will go inside of these tabs here. And since these tabs are slotted, that'll help with the thermal expansion uh, on the top side here. And later on, if I feel like that's not enough and I wanna add some more dampening to the top side here, I can add like standoff studs and I'll put a little picture here. And that will help a lot with isolating the radiator from the rest of the chassis. The rest of the lines that will be running to the radiator will be soft. So that way it will be have ability to flex and move independently from the chassis. So with all that being said, I think I'm just going to jump in and start doing some fabrication work and we'll see how it goes. Oh, on the top side, I plan on putting a one inch bar across the top side and I will be putting in these bungs with three eighths bolts. These tabs will be running off of the bars that run down the front of the radiator. So let's go. Let's get started.
Okay, well, there is the radiator set into place just temporarily right now. Um, I think I forgot to mention that this top bar needs to be removable in order to get the fuel cell out the rear window. So the next step is I need to make tabs in order to mount these rubber isolators down here. So let's get started on that. All right, so I've got my one inch tube, just rough cut right now. This is the assembly that I'm gonna be using on the outside. Um, it's just a threaded bung with a 3 8 inch bolt and then a tab. The tab will weld to the chassis. This will get welded into the tube and then I'll have a trick tab coming off or two trick tabs coming off that will mount to the radiator. So let's get that going. Well guys, the radiator is in. Um, I didn't final weld anything yet because I just wanna make sure that everything, this whole entire process of getting all this stuff stuffed back here is gonna work out and I wanna have options in case I wanna change them. Um, so these tabs are just tacked in for now, but I've got the tabs in. The bolts are tightened up. I've got my trick tabs here that are mounted to the one inch tube and that's running all the way across to the same exact setup on the other side. Um, yeah, and like I said, these these tabs uh, on the radiator are slotted, so that way uh, if this thing grows, it has some room to shift. I'll probably put some standoffs or something inside here, or some spacers inside of here, so that way uh, the bolt doesn't actually cinch down on it real tight. And then down here on the bottom, um, we've got the tabs in with the rubber isolators. Um, those worked out really good. The radiator is in, it's leveled, everything looks good. So now I can start seeing how the plumbing is gonna run. Also keep in mind that um, I'm sure I'm gonna get comments on this. There is gonna be fans here with a fan shroud. So there's gonna be three fans here, probably 10 inch fans. So if anyone has a hookup on Spall fans, let me know, hook me up. I'm gonna have to purchase some of those and I'm probably gonna make my own uh, fan shroud out of carbon fiber. Yeah, it's all starting to look good. Things are coming together. It's starting to get packed back here. It's, uh, it's awesome to see this thing coming together. Um, but anyway, thank you guys for watching. Thanks for subscribing and commenting. If you guys leave a comment, I promise I'm gonna respond. I respond to everybody. So uh, test me. Ask me a question. Tell me your favorite color. Buddy the Elf, what's your favorite color? Put that down. No, I'm just kidding. I honestly don't care what your favorite color is. So also off camera, I did cut and install these 316s plates. These are this big gussets out here to help support this joint at the corner. So that in combination with this tube that's running out to the main chassis, this thing should be very robust. And I'm probably gonna start adding some more tubes in here and uh, get this engine ready to uh, be final installed. So, so I got some engine mounts from Dune Spec. These things are awesome. They bolted right in and all I have to do is just run the tube down, boom and I'll have a removable engine mount. So I'll be working on those soon. And you guys stay tuned for more. This thing's getting exciting. Uh, thanks for joining, and I will catch you guys later.